Hello, welcome to Nina's Knots Crochet. I'm Lynn Today is Sunday, September 18th, 2022. Uh, if you're new here, hi, thanks for stopping in, giving my channel a chance. I appreciate it. Returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back and spending a little bit of your Sunday with me. Um, excuse my appearance, I'm a little exhausted. We had a long weekend. Uh, my husband and I took our RV to North Carolina, Virginia, and back to Florida. And it was a really fun trip. I didn't get a whole lot of crocheting done. Um, I didn't even watch a whole lot of uh, YouTube videos. I did try to catch the tail end of the live that uh, Nancy from She's Got Yarn 2, Billy the Crafty Floridian, and Lynette, the um, Charmed Grammy Crochets, had with Nancy's mom about the Camp Bogey. So if you haven't heard about that, check out Nancy's channel um, for their Afghan drive for the, the camp for the sick kids. Um, I have picked my yarn. I have picked one of my patterns. So we'll talk about that at a later date. Uh, today... Uh, I'm going to show you yarn and yarn and yarn. I, while I was gone, I got two deliveries of yarn, one from Hershner's, one from Mary Maxim. And while I was in Roanoke, Virginia, I stopped into a local yarn shop. Uh, let me start with that because that was the most fun. I mean, spending time with my husband was a lot of fun. We went to Black Dog Salvage and bought some cool stuff at their antique store and my husband bought a um, shop piece. It was a piece of metal that they shaped into the letter M for our last name. And it was a really nice, it, Roanoke, Virginia is a beautiful area. The, the whole area out there in the Blue Ridge Mountains is just gorgeous. So uh, it was a really fun trip, but I got to stop into a local yarn shop. The name of the shop is called The Wool Workshop in Roanoke, Virginia. Um, and it's just a small little shop. I don't have any pictures or anything. I'm not comfortable taking pictures of somebody else's store. But it was like a little house turned into a shop and they had their yarn all set up. They, they had everything in there, Malabrigo and everything. But I happened to be there on a day when they were having a local dyer in for a trunk show. Because... I thought, well, if I'm going to be in Virginia, I want some local yarn. And it just so happened she was having a trunk show there. And the name of the the local dyer, her, her name is Kendra, and she's with the Aster Fiber Company um, right there in that area. And she had all of her yarn there that she dyed. She's, she said she's been dyeing for, professionally for about two years. And let me tell you, she had some gorgeous yarn. I did pick out some that I'm going to use in a special project for myself because this is a little on the expensive side. I think my husband about had a stroke when I told him how much I spent. But I did buy three skeins of hand-dyed yarn. And I got two the same and then one kind of like to go. And this color with the coral and the tangerine and the turquoise and the blue and a little bit of gray oh it's just so gorgeous and she calls this color fairy dust and it's superwash singles it's 100 percent superwash merino fingering weight um, and there's 400 yards so i got two of those and then i got this colorway which is just the pales, and it's got a little bit of the orange. I don't know what that, oh, that's the tie. And a little bit of brown. And she called this color Ribbons and Lace. And it's, again, it's the super single, super wash singles, fingering weight. But I'm going to put these two in a project, these two colorways. So these two plus this into a project. I don't know what that project's going to be yet. Um, I'm thinking some kind of a wrap. Um, but this, I mean, the colors in this yarn is just 
oh, it just is so pretty and I just, I loved everything about this and it just, when I saw this, I'm like, and she had two because like I said, she's a local independent dyer. So she didn't have a lot of each color. As a matter of fact, this was the only one she had in this color. Uh, this, uh, what is this called? The ribbons and lace. This was the only Hank she had in that. And, uh, I, I feel privileged that I was able to grab these. Now I just got to find the right project. So project alert for this. But in the meantime, it'll just stay in this little bag that says the Wool Warehouse. And they have a website. Um, check them out. They're doing um, Halloween mystery bags right now. Um, and you can order them until September 25th. It's on their website. I'll Put their website below and also while i was there figured if i was gonna go local go local i found these stitch markers and they're cut this one's from the the shop itself but these were little sparkly acrylic stitch markers they caught they got me with the turtle that's the one that's like okay that has to come home with me but this company is called twin mountain handicrafts and they do um fiber notions and stitch markers and stitch marker holders and they have a website that I'll link down below but again this was just a local to the Blue Ridge Mountains and I kind of wanted to get into the local so I really enjoyed this trip to this local yarn shop and the girl that was at the, I forgot to get her name, but she was so knowledgeable and so helpful. And Kendra, the dyer, was so sweet. And she's on Instagram and on Facebook. Um, but I'll, I'll, I'll try to link everything down below. Um, you can check out Kendra's work, uh, Aster Fiber Co. She, her yarn was gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So that leads me back to, I get home and then I've got two big bags. One big bag, two big bags. This one's from Mary Maxim. And before I left for our trip, Mary Maxim had all of their uh, ultra mellow, mellow spun um, on clearance for a dollar fifty nine a uh, donut. So I did get quite a bunch. I got. This one is, check out this color. I think this one's called Robin's Egg. This one is called Robin's Egg. And it's just a really pretty light blue. And Mellow Spun DK. I am in love with this yarn. Um, it's 70 acrylic, 30 nylon, 174 yards in each of these little donuts. That's the drawback. I'm not a big fan of these little donuts. But I got eight of these in the Robin's Egg. And it is, it's so soft and so, I'm making a sweater for my granddaughter out of this in a different color and I love it. And when I saw it for $1.58, a little donut, I was like that. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes. And then this color is, of course, I'm going to have to take one out to find the color called medium blue. And it's just a really pretty blue, sky blue, 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 same specs. It's a, it's a DK, you know, number three. They say use a four millimeter hook, 70 acrylic, 30 nylon, 174 yards, 50 gram balls. And then the last color I got, check out this color, you guys. This is so bright. I don't know to go this bright, but this just, oh, it just, it's called melon. And it's very corally melon red orange an orangey red 
and this mellow spun in the DK weight, it's such a joy to work with. Um, the sweater I'm making for my granddaughter is coming out so nice. <coughs> Excuse me. And I love working with this yarn. And like I said, when I saw for $1.58 a, a donut, I, I couldn't pass it up. So that's my Mary Maxim haul. And then Hirschner's. Now, again, when they put these things on sale to a point where you can't say no, huh, I got these little dahlias. These are number one. These are fine. And I got two in this color, like this mustardy colored. And it's called, the color is called medallion. And these are number one and they're a hundred percent merino wool. And I thought these would make a nice little hat. 147 yards, yeah, 147 yards, 135 meters of a number one. And I think I could get a nice little kid size hat out of this. So, and these were a dollar a piece, a dollar for merino wool. So I got two in the mustard. Not happy about the broken band, but I'll live with it for a dollar. I got two in, what's this color? Rosewood with all the different colors of pinks and a little bit of red. This one kind of says, happy Valentine's Day. And like I said, 147 yards of a number one merino wool. Yes, please. And then the last color I got in that is this color and it's called Grasslands. I just see like a little boy's color. And I thought I could make some really cute little wool hats for kids out of this nice yarn at a dollar a skein for Merino wool. So I got those and then I got, I get, I got 12 of each of these colors. This one is the Willow Everest, 126 yards, 50 grams, 50 fine merino, 50 microfiber, um, made in Turkey. These are a number three DK weight. It says use a five millimeter hook. This color is called Poppy and it's a really very pretty orange. And I, I got 12 of those. And then the other color I got is Oh, where's the color on this one? Shell. I don't know how they got shell out of this. It's a very rose color. Um, very Victorian rose think. And this is really soft and squishy. What intrigued me about this, these were a dollar ninety-nine a donut. Um, but it's a merino wool and microfiber blend. Um, and it's a really it's a nice I don't know if you can see that chain spun or it's like a spun not chain spun but it you know a nice twist to it uh, it's a decent weight for a number three it's soft definitely scarfable with the wool in it um i'm gonna try to do a, a long like duster cardigan out of this the rose colored one I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this poppy colored one. I love the color, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. But I just, the wool microfiber blend kind of intrigued me. And for $1.99, I thought, well, let's give it a shot. So I will do a review on this yarn. I've never seen a wool microfiber blend before. I've seen other, I've seen cotton microfibers and polyester microfibers, but I don't think I've ever seen a merino 
and this is 50% fine merino, made in Turkey. Hand wash in cold water. Yeah, it just, it, it, it intrigued me. And I, I, I really love this color. So, so those were my <laughs> yarn acquisitions. So I don't even have to be home when I'm acquiring yarn. And while I was gone, I did no crocheting to speak of. I think I finished a half of a hand warmer. I did pick out yarn and a pattern for uh, Nancy at She's Got Yarn 2 for her um, bogey camp Afghan drive or blanket drive. Uh, if you don't know anything about that, check out Nancy at She's Got Yarn 2 or Lynette at Charm Grammy uh, Crochet or Billy at the Crafty Floridian. Those three ladies are working together with Nancy's mom, who is part of a woman's club, and they're putting together a drive to collect as many Afghans, blankets, I shouldn't say Afghans, they're looking for blankets, um, 40 by 60 blankets for a uh, camp for kids that have severe terminal illnesses and cancers and horrible things. And it's a chance for them to go to camp and have the fun camp experience. And then they get to take this blanket home with them. Um, Nancy has all the information um, where you can send the blankets to. Um, if you can't get a hold of Nancy, get a hold of me and I can get a hold of her to get you any answer, any questions that you might have that I don't know the answers to. But it's, it, it's a worthy charity here in, I believe the camp is in the Orlando area. I'm in oh, the Ocala area. I'm not far from Orlando. I've actually, I'm not even close to Ocala, but that's like the biggest city closest to me. So it's a, it's a worthy cause. If you can, if you, if you've got, you know, an extra couple of days where you could put together a, a, a blanket for these kids, I'm sure Nancy would appreciate it. If you can't, that's great too. Um, lo donate local. Um, just send good thoughts to these children. Whatever you want to feel like you can do. No pressure. No apologies. Don't apologize for not being able to do anything or not do think you're not doing enough or it's not good enough. This is a no apology zone. Everybody does what they can. Everything is done to the best of your ability and it's always done with love. So love and joy that's all we that's all we can do with our life so i know i look a little washed out i am tired i've been on the road since 5 30 this morning so uh i am going to end this here and say thank you to all of you for sticking around to see my abundance of yarn i hope you check out uh kendra at aster fiber co because her dye work is beautiful and she has everything from, you know, the super teeny tiny fine up to bulky weights. I, I chose the fingering weight because I, I wanted it to be something special. Um, and the Mellow Spun, I don't know if that's still on sale. I don't know if these uh, Willow Yarns from uh, Hirschner's are still on sale. I made this order from Hirschner's um September 8th so I don't know if they're still on sale if they are I mean a dollar for you know 150 yards of merino wool it's kind of a good deal so I will leave it at that so if you have any questions leave your comments I'd appreciate it hit the like comment and subscribe and until Wednesday be nice to everyone <laughs>